So I'm sure everybody's aware that uh, social media companies like Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook have been under a lot of pressure recently from governments, typically liberal governments or like the EU, which is massively liberal, to uh, censor, to crack down on hate speech and, you know, really do something about their uh, platforms. They're even threatening to give them like 50, 60, 100 million dollar fines in Europe for this shit. So uh, Twitter now is going to be implementing new rules, right, to uh, catch people, essentially. And they're going to make it even more strict than it is now, which is pretty ridiculous, right? Like, I just finished getting off of a uh, week-long ban. And, you know, I called the guy a faggot, right? And maybe I shouldn't have done that. But come on, like a week-long ban, this guy sent me, like, nooses and threats and shit himself, right? So it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, nonetheless, what they're going to be doing is the new rules are going to be uh, sexual advances. Now, you know, no unwanted sexual advances, which I don't necessarily disagree with. You know, if there are guys entering uh, a chick's DM, which does happen a lot on Twitter, and are like, hey, you want to fuck? And, you know, give me your address and this and that, which, which does happen. And, you know, I know plenty of people who this happens to, or they send dick pics, etc. So, uh, you know, I, I think that you could, you know, you could probably just block them too. You know, sometimes people, they're just really desperate and shit, and, you know, their only life is fucking Twitter anyways, so maybe you should just block them, but I don't really have a, a huge problem with that either, right? Because there are a lot of creeps on Twitter. And then it goes on to say uh, non-consensual nudity, so... I'm guessing this is dick pics, but I'm not too sure. It could be like if I'm posting nudity on my feed or something and you don't like it, then maybe you could have me banned. I'm, I'm not quite certain how that's going to work. And then uh, hate symbols. So, you know, how are they going to apply this, right? Like hate symbols are very subjective. There are people consider Pepe a hate symbol. So uh, it's everybody on Twitter that has a Pepe meme for their uh, avatar, etc. going to be banned now? Are they all, is everybody going to have to get rid of their fucking Pepe memes and shit? Because Twitter doesn't allow that shit. And this is probably how it's going to be implemented. So yeah, anybody who has that is probably going to have to get rid of it <laughs> now. But, uh, and then violent groups. And this is where it gets tricky. So <laughs> I wonder if Antifa is going to remain on Twitter, right? We'll, we'll see. I, I'm not sure because I, they're, they're a violent group for sure. So if, you know, they're obviously going to be targeting like right wing groups and stuff like this. And, you know, we'll see if they apply it to groups like Antifa. I'm not sure because I'm, I'm pretty sure they do support them in general. And then, uh, yeah, tweets that glorify violence and stuff. So, yeah, if you're inciting violence, then, you know, you probably shouldn't be having that on Twitter. But, you know, all these new rules, you, you, you know that they're not going to be applied evenly. You know they're not going to be stopping all those people inciting violence against uh, white people, essentially, or saying, like, racist shit to white people, which a lot of fucking blue check marks do all the time, right? They're, they're not going to be censoring this stuff. They're going to be focusing on people on the right, people talking about refugees in Europe, you know, so anybody in, in Europe who's talking about this shit, it's going to be deemed hate speech or racist shit, and they're going to be censored. So this is who it's going to be applied to. And it's obvious, and they're just trying to shut people up. And this is why you should move to other platforms, try to diversify, you know, go to Mines, go to Gab, regardless of what people say that they're uh, this and they're all just racist and stuff like that, which there are on there. But doesn't mean you can't have another platform to build up to go just in case uh, Twitter turns to shit, because some of these policies may affect a lot of liberals, too. And, you know, like, look at how that uh, that one ban affected Rose McGowan, like how that pissed people off and how big of a stink they made out of this. So, you know, hopefully this policy does affect some liberals because we do know that Twitter does listen to them. So if hopefully it does affect them and then they'll just kind of 
turn it back because if not all that's going to happen is that there's going to be pretty much very few conservatives on twitter anymore or just there's only going to be like never trumpers people like that who are pretty much liberals anyways so you know this is just going to be a massive censorship campaign to people on the right so we'll see how this turns out next couple of weeks that's all i pretty much had to say have a good day